And we begin with this biblical, this Jewish Christian understanding of who human beings are. Because if we don't get that right, if we don't get the anthropology right, if we don't get the definition of who we are as human beings, who we are in our nature, our capacity to think and reason and create, and the necessity of human liberty in order to create, if we don't get that right, we get nothing else right in what we construct around us. We are part of the earth and we are part of heaven. And what a danger it is when people begin to place dichotomies between the two. When some think that all we really are is material and that the sum total of our existence is explained by our physicality. This is the origin of materialism. Morally, it becomes relativism because nothing really matters. If we're not created with purpose, if we're not created with intention, if we are not designed by a creator who intended to design us, then we are, as Sartre said, a speck of dust on a speck of dust floating in a cold and uncaring universe. But if this image of Michelangelo, even in the slightest way, be able, is able to depict the reality of our origin, then a whole different vision emerges of who human beings are and this inherent dignity that we possess, not because any legislature or politician or society or even family has given us that dignity. We possess it by virtue of our very nature it is part and parcel of who we are as human beings. Consider what this means. That if we are not just the sum total of our physicality, if in fact we are possessors of the imago dei, the image of God, then the whole way in which we relate to the world, the material world around us, changes. It is not a materialist assumption, neither in what we create nor in how we minister to those and tend to the needs of those who are in need. We neither create as, all, as though all that matters is physical, monetary reproduction. And neither do we tend to the poor and the vulnerable as all they were, were animals in need of water and shelter and food. No, because we know we are touched with this divine origin, we treat others as beings who have immortal destinies as well. Socialism, collectivism, fascism, all of these other political entities that attempt to distort or separate the divine image from the human person manipulate and see the human being as a means to someone else's political end or agenda. And I think that Rich tonight has not gone too far in insinuating the threats that face us as a nation, and if they face this country, then they face the world, these threats. We must stand against that with the knowledge of who we are in our origins and what we are called to in our eternal destiny.